son. So I'd be quiet, please. Good morning, good morning. I think we are live here this morning on beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Uh, this morning, let's revisit uh, how to steam your milk at home. And there is a tons and tons of videos out there on YouTube. All right, but mostly uh, those videos are made for someone who has like you know, commercial machines or some kind of E61 machines, group head, you know, something fancier. But not a whole lot, okay, videos out there for Bravo Barista Pro or Express. Okay, so today I'll, I'm going to be using my Bravo Barista X, uh, Pro. Uh, great thing about the Pro is the steaming power. Okay, the Pro has much better steaming power than Express for sure. I mean like, uh, I'm going to turn it on for you right now. Okay. If we turn around the steam one, would the Express take about 10 seconds? 10, 15, but now with the uh, Pro, as you can see, steams right there. Okay. It's really fast. So, I mean, if you are thinking about getting a new machine, uh, if you don't have if you don't have any coffee machine at home, if your uh, choice between Express or Pro, I think I go with the Pro. Okay, for for my lifestyle, yeah, I think I definitely go with the Pro. Okay, how to steam milk? So imagine this is your steam, uh, your milk jug. Okay, and I like to put about kind of like you know just below the halfway, comes down to milk, comes to milk. Imagine this is your steam one. Okay. And the people talk about nine o'clock or three o'clock a lot, okay? If you, whenever you're watching videos, so you are going to tilt it, go nine o'clock here and three o'clock. So the point, the reason why they want to tilt it to the uh, sideways, so you want to create that tornado effect, okay? During that time, it's going to create the micro bubble, right? So let me show you, okay? By the way, if you don't get it at first time, that's okay, all right? You're gonna try again tomorrow, and next day, and next day. So this is like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna master how to steam your milk after watching a couple of videos, all right? So this is kind of like the starting point for you. You never, uh, it's gonna be a while. So lower your, lower your expectation, okay? I know, some, uh, I know some of you out there, you know what, I want to start doing latte art right away. Uh, master the, the steaming the milk first, okay? And then work on your latte art, all right? Because you need to have that very silky smooth milk. So at least you can enjoy your latte or cappuccino in the morning. So again, lower your expectation, all right? It's not gonna be happen next couple weeks or couple months. It's gonna be a year. Unless, unless if you're working at the coffee shop, uh, if you're making like 10, 20, 30, 100 cups a day, and you're going to master that in a, within a week, okay, within a couple of days actually. It's gonna be really quick. But like home user like us, we make about what, one a day, okay, one, two a day, if, uh, if that. I mean, most of us maybe drink latte every other day. So it's gonna be a long, long time. So again, lower your expectation, focus on the milk uh, steaming, and go from there. All right, so uh, meantime, I'm going to switch my camera angle here. So let me show you what, uh, what I was talking about at 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Okay, let's uh, flip the camera for a second. Here we go. All right. Again, so first step is I like to... Uh, start the steam first. I know people just go directly and turn turn it on. I, I, I don't like to do that. I like to purge out water first. All right. I like to purge. You're going to see some st uh, start coming out right there. Okay, you see that water? We don't want that. And then shut it down right away. And then you see there, I'm going to start creating the the tornado effect. All the circulation motion there. This is the way you want. You see the circulation. I added 
tiny bit of soap so you guys are going to see again you see the all the micro bubble so I mean that's what you want all right and after that just make sure wipe it clean purge one more time just make sure there's no leftover milk okay all right so this time we are going to pull the shot uh, let's do for real okay let's do for real okay again if you are joining us for the first time welcome to live streaming folks okay so i do have my laptop over there i can see all your questions there so yeah all right i'm just gonna do some coffee I'm just gonna do a dummy shot to heat up my water filter uh, the one downside of X, uh, pro there's no way to heat up the port filter, okay, group head, uh, using the thermal jet there, so there's no way. All right, using my 3D dosing funnel. I already measured out 18 gram of, so this is a Neapolitan coffee from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee there. Just gonna go up, just single dose, 18 gram. So I like to uh, pull the shot first, and then I like to steam right after. I know some of you are uh, discussing or think about which one goes first because because I don't want to have my milk going to get kind of like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Get not clock. Okay, get stare perhaps. Okay, because you want to use the fresh as possible all right i'm just from here i just did a quick puck prep okay i'm just gonna use my comes to temping make sure nice and even okay comes to pressure don't worry about it you know as long as you're consistent pressure you should be fine 10, 15, 20 pounds. Okay, I just make sure consistency is the key. I'm just gonna add my puck screen here, right on the top. Lock it in. All right, here we go. And I'm just gonna, I usually wait to shot, but I'm just gonna do manual mode here. I'm just gonna hold down about five seconds. Let's go three seconds, let go. I'm at 13 right now. You're kinda like eyeballing it. Uh, you could use your scare as well if you want to. Okay. I'm gonna stop around, you know, 26 seconds. Okay, that's enough espresso in there. Since we're gonna be making latte, so I'm not too worried about my ratio. Okay, all right, steaming. We're gonna. I'm gonna be using the whole milk this morning. Uh, comes the milk jug. Just you know, any milk jug is fine. You know, and there's. It's not like one is better than other. It's all, I think it's all the same. It's, I think it's the person behind the milk jug. I'm just gonna, uh, just below the halfway there. I'm gonna be making small cappuccino this morning. All right, same thing. Well, let me, I'm just gonna remove this for a second. Again, I think I'm gonna go to the nine o'clock. I'm gonna start the steam one first. 
Once you steam is kicking, shut it up right away and make sure it go fast. Nine o'clock. Okay. You see that circular circular motion going right now? Yeah, we are going to create a micro bubble there. And just make sure to touch the bottom, okay? When milk is ready, it's gonna be too hot to touch. Okay, now it's done. Just make sure wipe it clean here. Perch. But meantime, just make sure swerve it. There we go. I'm just gonna make sure get the, all the air bubble out. You see that kind of like wet paint. So this is what we want. Okay. All right. Let's do some little bit of latte art. I'm just gonna swirl my espresso. Again, uh, comes to latte art. Just take your time. Okay. Take your time. Just mix it. You know, I have no idea what that is, but I mean, at least milk texture is nice. Okay. All right. So that's how to steam milk on your Bravo Brewsta Pro. Okay. That's how to do it. All right. I mean, again, there's no, comes down to steaming milk, the technique, there's no shortcut. Okay, unless you practice every single day, but come on, let's face it, guys. You know, I mean, I make maybe one a day, maybe two at the most. And uh, I, I, I know most of you out there, you guys like Americana or espresso. So in reality, I just again, just focus on the, the micro bubble. That's it. Okay, just focus on that. I think you should be as long as your milk, you know, milk texture is good. Okay. If your latte tastes better, that's fine. But if you wanna show up to your friends and family, okay, you gotta practice. Okay, other than that. But hold on, I'm just gonna look at your questions this morning. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, yeah, welcome to live streaming. Okay, hold on. Okay, we have uh, someone asking me about the oat milk. I got Mr. Rainbow's on this morning. We got Ken. Scartown is on. Okay. Uh, Eric say my uh, my milk gets no froth. Okay. All right. Again, uh, you you just gotta create the micro bubble. All right. Dave say about the pro grinder. I'm telling you, I mean, built-in grinder is you know I, I haven't. Uh, I mean, no complaint there. The uh, we have a nation supply. Say, I've been practicing for seven years. Okay. I never get the latte R2 look so good. I can make a latte, but I can make my latte taste great. Yeah, I mean, that's all matters, guys. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, MGSA Coffee Diva grinder with the Trevor Kids. The battery power. The Coffee Diva is a kind of like a uh, uh, battery power uh, coffee grinder, but too, too heavy. Okay, if you are doing the backpacking trip, forget it. Okay, so let's try this. I'm, I'm just gonna have a one sip, okay? Uh, I'm on the low carb diet for the last two months now. Low carb means no sugar, no grains. Pretty much I cut out all the carbohydrates. Uh, not, not because my, uh, I wanna lose weight for my health reason. Anyway, cheers, happy, so I'm just gonna have a one sip here. I'm telling you, this, you know, this coffee is pretty good from Brent. Yeah, very dark. It's called Neapolitan. You got a dark chocolate and sweet, and they add it into the whole milk. Yeah, pretty good. By the way, I do have a coupon code for you guys as well, so make sure you check it out. Okay, so I'm done with this coffee. Okay. Unfortunately, I cannot have too much dairy anyway, and the, but, but my voice, like, but my boys, they do 
drink latte in the morning and uh, he likes uh, kind of like ice theme there ice latte theme and then what I've been doing for my family members I'm, I'm using the monk fruit right I like to use a monk fruit you know uh, there's no sugar in it you know, monk fruit is kind of like I, I don't I don't want to say artificial sweetener just the one scoop of monk fruit and then I'm just gonna one pump of caramel okay that's it one pump of caramel just a little bit more just mix it well I'm just gonna dump it here I'm just gonna dump it over something like that okay so this is not for me it's for my my older son here get some ice and then I'm just gonna add it okay so I mean this is not a proper recipe but uh, since I, I don't want to waste my delicious latte right here and so I mean that's how I do it I'm just gonna have a one quick taste man wow I do miss this guys okay I do miss it Ian your coffee's ready son yeah I, I, I really do miss kind of like you're just having a little taste of the the deliciousness man I, I, I do miss. oh by the way so how, how many of you actually on some sort of like no sugar diet or no carb diet yeah let me know okay and let me know about your struggle I mean it's not easy uh, by the way I do I do have a cooking channel uh, if you don't know it's called Hoon's Kitchen okay Hoon's Kitchen you can find me there I've been posting a lot of my uh, low carb meal okay the recipes I've been posting quite a bit uh, lately okay because ever since I'm on that uh, low carb journey you know uh, you're gonna lose weight quick you're gonna lose weight but it's not a diet guys it's not a diet I mean if you look at diet you're not gonna survive okay uh, think of it as a lifestyle you need to change your lifestyle you need to you, you need to re-examine what foods are okay I mean if you want sweet uh, eat some fruit okay don't don't go out there buy like you know no sugar or uh, kind of like the fake chocolates out there you know kind of no sugar chocolate you know no don't even go there guys just have some fruit All right just have some fruit just you gotta change you know how you look at food it's been a lot of fun hold on a second here I'm just gonna okay I think we are good okay uh, Eric, yeah so pretty much I drink a uh, long black that's it uh, filter coffee you know just regular black coffee uh, no added nothing okay I, I don't do uh, dairy either so yeah fruit has a load of fructose yes okay uh, that's true okay so uh, fruit has a lot of sugar that, that's why you gotta be careful okay if you have, if you have a craving for like sweet tooth just have some strawberry yeah, so berry is not that bad blackberry is good but stay away from like grapes cantaloupe honeydew yeah they're just a lot of sugar so I mean so again if you're on the low sugar diet make sure no carb same thing you know carb turn into sugar anyway so just make sure I'm mindful about you know but if you if you really have a you know sweet tooth okay I just have you know have a couple of grapes all right it's not gonna kill you you know that's a whole lot better than you know eating chocolate anyway so hold on yeah blueberry save uh, blueberry has no yeah blueberry is not that bad either blueberry has a lot of carbs though you know has some carbs but it's not bad okay uh, berries good I do like black uh, blackberry blueberry raspberry you know not a whole lot of sugar but again different way of eating I do miss I have to say eating rice I have a great rice cooker over there the best rice cooker ever but no rice for me 
no pasta, no bread. Man, it's been fun. Let's see here. Let's look at your comments there. I'm just taking a look at your comments. We have uh, someone asking about the uh, recommend Easy Presser, K Max, K Pro, or GP6. Uh, if you want something cleaner taste, cleaner cup, uh, GP6 is not bad. Okay, GP6 is pretty good. But if you want something, uh, if you want to do both, easy, uh, espresso and probe, okay, something more versatile, uh, K Pro, all right, or K Max is fine too. So yeah, I mean again, it's K Max or K, yeah, I mean yeah, I mean that's depend on what you want, okay. But you know, again, if you want a clean cup, I think I go with a GP6. But in reality, is you're not going to make espresso on using your hand grinder. That's a lot of work. Okay, I don't care how good your hand grinder is. If you have grind like 18 to 20 gram every time if you want to make espresso, they're painful. Okay, that's a lot of work. So, again, so think about it before you purchase. Okay, think about it. Okay, rain say, yeah, steaming water surface. Okay. I think we are good. It's about 56 people watching right now. Just make sure to thumbs up, up on video. Uh, if you haven't followed me on my cooking channel, Okay, make sure to check it out. Again, Hoon's Kitchen, okay? Make sure to go there. And again, I mean, if you are into low carb meal, I think I've been posting a lot of videos on it. It's boring. I have to say, the low carb, it doesn't matter how, I love cooking, okay, I love cooking. But I've been trying to be creative, uh, making food, I mean, it looks great. But it's never satisfied. You know what I mean? Something about eating low carb meal, you know, lots of protein, lots of veggies. I, I do veggies and uh, meat, that's it. And it's not the same. Okay, it's not the same. So, all right. Okay. Oh, goodness. MGSA, uh, not boring if you're hunt. You know what? Uh, I'm living in Arizona. You, you can get a, a hunting tag, okay? You can get a tag. You can go out there, uh, hunt. You can you can hunt uh, elk and deer and you know wild animals. Man, that's not, uh, that that's be fantastic. I'm gonna shout out to my friends at shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker, and also Nation Supply for the another super sticker as well. All right, Mr. Rainbow's uh, been busy. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday morning. And uh, I do need to unbox. Okay, I do need to unbox this so, uh, sometime today. My friend Michael at MK Studio. So this is the most beautiful pour over set you're ever going to see in your life. All right. I mean that is the that is the most beautiful prover set in your life. So I, I gotta unbox that soon. Yeah, I mean that's spectacular. So there is a I mean most of us watching my channel, you guys are very practical. Okay. You guys own a most likely you own a Brista Express at home or pro. Okay. You guys are very practical coffee drinkers out there. And there is a other side of community, right? So that's more like my afternoon session, okay? Morning, I'm focused on the Bravo products, you know, Express or Pro, I mean, that's what I have. But afternoon, at my coffee desk, you know, I have a completely different setup, okay? That's more for people in uh, coffee, the rabbit hole, okay? I like to say rabbit hole people. And we're not just talking about just a grinder. We are talking about multiple, multiple grinder with uh, all kinds of different birth design. So again, you can have both. All right. If you want to, if you want to have just drink good coffee in the morning, you know, like us right now, if you want to just drink good coffee, don't even think about spending a lot of money on it. Just get yourself, you know, a decent entry level coffee machine. You're going to be fine. Okay. You're going to be 
more than fine for a long, long time. I mean, I own my Express for last, what, going on five years now. I'm completely happy with it. I, I own my uh, Pro for what, going on four years. It's great, okay? Uh, you make great coffee. But if, if you want the person that, you know what, I think I want to do something more. I really like making coffee, okay? And then I want to, you know, play with. If you have time and resource to do it, all right. Uh, like, like mentioned many, many times, don't go halfway, okay? If you want to uh, express or pro, if you want to upgrade it, save money as much as you can and go for the, the end, okay? Go for the machine that you really want. You know, don't go halfway, all right? Just go to the end, all right, okay? Uh, whatever that is, it could be your dual boiler with uh, E61 group pair, it doesn't matter, okay? If you want to spend three or four grand on it, save that money and get the carbon machine you want and get the grinder you want, all right? You're going to be much happier with it because in between machines, they're fine, but, you know, eventually you're going to grow out of it, you know? I mean, you're going to be, yeah, you're going to grow out of it pretty quick. Ernie say... Okay, Ernie say, uh, let's say, when espresso tasting yesterday in Palo, uh, Palo Alto? Okay, Burb espresso and blue bottle was disappointed. Both, uh, you know, that's the thing about uh, getting a copy from the shop, all right? The tasting. Because, you know, whenever you make your espresso, you know what you like, okay? Most coffee shops out there, you know, coffee event, they have, they have to put standard shot, that's it. Sometimes you, you, you want like one to two ratio, or one to 2.5, one to three. It's all different, all right? So, I mean, I haven't had a good espresso at coffee shop. Uh, it's pretty rare, pretty rare there. I think uh, most of my great shots is at home. Okay, is at home. So, I'm gonna shout out to Young Ma, he's just popping in. It's been a it's been a while, but it's been a while. All right, I think we are good for the, our Sunday session. Again, I'm gonna big shout out to Mr. Rainbow and Nation Supply Org. Oh, it must be your business, some kind of supply business. All right, guys, I'm gonna see you guys later or tomorrow.